know it's very concerning to me as a physician, but more importantly as a mother, about how misinformed some people have been about the HPV vaccine. HPV is a virus, and certain types of that HPV virus can cause genital warts and cervical cancer. Just about anybody who has ever lived has been exposed to the HPV virus. It's just as common as the common cold. The good news is today we have a vaccine to help prevent cervical cancer and genital warts from happening to people. We surveyed three people and three out of three of those people did not want genital warts. We're just taking a brief survey today. Is it okay if I ask you one question? Yes. Okay. Would you like to have genital warts? No. Would you like to have genital warts? No. Would you like to have genital warts? No, I, I wouldn't. The good news for those people is that we can stop genital warts from happening. We can prevent young women from ever having cervical cancer by giving them a simple vaccine. This vaccine is an anti-cancer, anti-genital wart vaccine. Hi, Mrs. Smith. Hi, Anna. Anna only needs one more vaccine, and that's the HPV vaccine, which helps protect against cervical cancer. Can we get her updated on that vaccine today? I don't think so, no. Okay, can I ask, is there any reason why you don't want her to have this vaccine? That's really not that safe. Is there anything I can do to help change your mind? This is a very important vaccine. No, not today. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. Hi, Anna. Hi, Mrs. Smith. Hello. Well, good news. Well, Anna only needs one more vaccine today, and that's the HPV vaccine, which protects against cancer. This anti-cancer vaccine is just as safe and effective as those other vaccines we've given her, like the ones for flu and chicken pox. I think it's really exciting. Imagine this, a vaccine for cancer. Maybe one day we can make more vaccines that protect against cancer and be a cancer-free world. Isn't that exciting? No, I don't. Well, you're certainly not pro-cancer, are you? Mom, this is one vaccine that I don't mind getting. I mean, who wants cancer? Anna, you're such a smart girl. What do you think, Mom? Should we, shouldn't we protect Anna against cervical cancer? Yes, you're smart, and I think we will get it today. Awesome, Mom. I'll be right back. Why would you let me get the flu shot one and not let me get the anti-cancer one? I mean, cancer sucks. I think you can get it today. You're a smart girl. True, no medication or vaccine is without any negative side effects. There's a potential for people to have adverse side effects from any medication or any vaccine they take. But you have to weigh those risks against the benefit. What I don't understand is when parents come in and they vaccinated their children against the flu and chicken pox and measles, but then when I explain to them, hey, we have this vaccine that can prevent cervical cancer and genital warts, then it's all, oh no, we don't want that one. And they usually can't really articulate to me why they don't want that vaccination. You know, and a lot of parents are uncomfortable talking about this vaccination with their child they ask me, well, how do I explain this vaccine to my child? Well, as a parent, you have a few different options. Number one, you could tell your child, because I told you so. Number two, you could tell your child, you're getting this vaccine because I love you and I want to protect you from cancer and other bad things. Or number three, you as a parent can tell your child, because I told you so. If you're uncomfortable talking to your child about cervical cancer and genital warts, you don't have to. But that doesn't mean you should avoid getting them the vaccine. It's just as safe as any other vaccine we have out there. Do you have an increased risk of maybe getting a red spot um, that's a little swollen at the site? Sure, but that could happen with any vaccine. Do some young women faint after getting this vaccine? Yes, they do, but again, young teenage girls faint after a lot of things. So, if you want to protect your child against cancer and genital warts, I urge you to talk to a physician that you trust about the risk and the benefits of this vaccine and that you make the right decision to end cervical cancer and end genital warts by getting this vaccine.